awkward. So, nose right there, stuffed. We're gonna sound real squish. Real squish and skish. Um, it's not gonna feel too ideal, idyllic. These old snot holes. However, we're still gonna try. If we lose our streak here, it's been fun knowing you 70, 67. 67, you know, un unlost runs. However, uh, I don't like that anymore. Man, I wish there was a middle, middle stage of this. Um, however, you know, it's been a good, long, good one. And I don't feel that blaming it on our sickness is any better than a drunk person blaming it on the ow, 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 alcohol. Ow, 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 alcohol. Uh... <laughs> I mean, it, it actually is a lot better because this is not something I am intentionally putting into my own body. It's something that it happens to exist. And I don't need to do this run right now because this is for, like, Tuesday. It's not even for the current tomorrow, which we have. Am I streaming? I am streaming. Okay. Yo, I should probably... Make sure I know a room. A room. I know where the baddies lay. Before I pause the screen. Uh, yeah, I got, I got like a leg disorder right now. My uh, my legs are like they feel like. You know how when you get a package of uh, spaghetti, it's. Ooh, I almost missed that fuse. Um, when you get dry spaghetti and you go bend and it just snaps in a million pieces, my uh, my legs feel like that. <laughs> the sound it makes is bend. Um, I just finished my double. I got new shoes, uh, like in the middle of last week, I think. So they're not fully broken in. Um, they're like of much higher quality than the shoes I had before, which I think part of my damn shit is that I'm so used to wearing crapola. I'm so used to wearing sneaks that wearing like a good ass Clark is a, uh, I don't know. It's like you used to riding bareback and suddenly you got a saddle. I don't fucking know if that's easier. <laughs> was it? Yeah, it's like easier. It, long term, for the best. But if you got uh, your wiggle horse legs all regular used to bareback, and then you sit on a saddle, it's gonna be like, whoa. <laughs> also, <laughs> I got like 30 minutes of sleep last night before my double. So I have, I have like fruit of the loops in my brain right now. I'm getting the fucking potion of lead skin. You can't strop me. That's what you do to a razor blade. Um, because we're playing as the guy who eats junk and turns it into punches. Turns it into high damage bullet punches. And maybe we can make this be one of those, you eat some junk, and then you get junk in. The Facts of Life. I don't know how that song goes. I don't think I ever watched that show. It might have been a sitcom pre-my time. My, uh, my sister watched a butt-ass load of, uh... Oh, yeah, fuck it, man. Fuck it, man. Uh, a butt-ass load of, uh, like, Nick at Night. Um, when we were growing up, and I kind of watched, like, I Live With Lucy, and a few other of those shows with her, but I never, I never really, like, 
became uh, maybe a little bit of I Dream of Genie. I thought Bewitched was like I Dream of Genie but lame and black and white. Oh, Dick Van Dyke show. What was the other one? Uh, Bob Newhart show? Where old Bobby New was a psychiatrist who uh, was like fucking droll as all get out. Um, I loved it. I don't know why, but that droll, dry, like almost melancholy humor worked my little my little widgets when I was a kid. Uh, but uh, yeah, she 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 probably knows about the facts of life. She probably knows about what are you what do you happen to be talking about, Willis, and the whole rest of them. Um, but me. Not quite so indeedy. I honestly don't know. <laughs> Shows. Uh, what's the other one? But no one scared, spared. Boom, ba ba boom, ba I'm gonna destroy these now because if they turn into freaking Galdern heart pieces. I'm gonna be mad as uh, you know, one of those kids in Willie in the Chocolate Factory. Maybe the one that got turned into a blueberry. Oh, we do have enough for another key. Whoops, a uh, doodle. How did we get that? Well, we'll take it with us. Wait a second, let's do this stuff. Boom. We'll use it here. See? 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 And now we can get cursed all the way to the top and have the heck blasted all the way out. God! This is a good one. Good start. We got... Uh, stab him up. No, no, no. No stab him up. We got uh, protection from the stabs. We got this uh, trash can, <laughs> which no one's ever wanted. Um... Uh, which may somehow, like rarest of all likelihoods, might turn into the recycle bin if we get the star pew. Uh, which, again, rarest likelihood of anything. Yo, what? Why did I just... just wait. Wait and walked into it. Uh, um, we shouldn't be using this. Let's just, let's just put a an actual secondary weapon in there. Yo, it's Kyle. He's saying hi. <laughs> saying hello. I almost said he's saying Zig Heil. See, Kyle? See? Kyle? Uh, I'm sure you've heard that joke in your life, Kyle, and I'm sorry that I uh, made you hear it again. It's a, uh, it's in poor taste. It's like people saying, "Who wants to be a millionaire?" But it has to do with like saluting Hitler. So it's a little bit worse. How you doing, buddy? You've been modding up a storm. Oh, I feel so stuffed up. No, even though it has curse. You know what I think I'm gonna get myself for Christmas? I think I'm gonna uh, commission a friend of mine who's real good at making jams. Uh, and by that I mean music, not jellies. Uh, Yeah, I'm I'm positive that it's even more than okay. I just I gotta get this one done because I know I'm not gonna be able to record Tuesday's uh, video on Monday night um, because we're having a million people over and they're all gonna be drunk, uh, and it's just gonna be me and Nate sober as two damned idiots. Uh, Oh, cool. That is the worst possible way I could have handled that situation. 
I took a hit that I didn't need to take, and then in order to dodge it, I jumped into a hole. Uh, I'm also recovering from stuff nose disorder, and I got a case of a uh, broken leg disorder on top of it from uh, working a double, so what was the thing? So have time, it's not the end of the world as we know it, and you feel fine. <coughs> oh man. Dude, I took three hits on this floor. Two at once. In perfect synchronicity. Alright. Let's get out of here. Butthole boys. Working a double is weird because I, I am tired about 70% of the shift, and at the end, I'm just like, I made it! I freaking made it! Time to be wide awake uh, at 11 o'clock at night. Still work tomorrow. Like, celebratory rush of, uh, not endorphins, but like, energy, I guess? Adrenaline? In the aftermath of a long one. Yo, I thought he was dead. Okay, they're all dead. I feel like wild. Like I could run a marathon, but then I would die. And also, I would probably die at the start of it. Give me some curse, game. Give me some fucking curse. I have a heck blaster. I want curse. Whoa. <laughs> Something weird about the blooper. The knockback is like more intense recently. Oh crap, I'm almost out of ammo on it. Like, right now, I'm doing really poorly. Uh, and I don't know how I'm going to turn this around, because as the robot, it's pretty much, once you go downhill, you never go brown hill. Drew Hill. You guys remember Drew Hill? Yeah, that band that Cisco was in before his breakout solo single, Thong 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 Thong. That was a weird time. That was when uh, TRL was still a cultural force. Carson Daly, the least char charismatic person since sliced cadaver, uh, had a hit show where he just played videos that people voted on and then said like, hey, I'm Carson Daly, look at my fucking terrible haircut. It's the 90s, waka waka. <laughs> Uh, yeah, Cisco was hot. Mayonnaise, back in the day, it is. I don't remember actual much of TRL. I remember there was Puff Daddy would be on it from time to time. Uh, and <laughs> he had one song that was like, it was basically a Sting song. Uh, like Sting of the Police, but he kind of rapped over it, and the music video was like nine fucking minutes long, and it was a movie, him running around in some city like he was enemy of the state, starring Will Smith and Gene Hackman. It was just a mashup of other people's ideas with Puff Daddy in it. No, I'm confusing the song. 
But man, Puff Daddy really made it on the shoulders of other people's talent. Uh, it was one of those success stories like, anybody can do anything if they listen to records from the 70s. decided to kill Tupac. Black hole gun, won't ya come? Won't ya? And wash away the black hole part. I'm so fucking loopy. We're not going to the thing because of this bullshit we got going on. Also, Oh, maybe we still can. Let's try it. Let's try it. I didn't realize I had picked up a key somewhere. A key What a wonderful phrase. Yo, so I saw this thing. Uh, there was a this thing it was like there's this movie coming out it's got Sarah Silverman John C. Riley. Uh, it's a Disney animated movie called Wreck-It Ralph Breaks the Internet or Ralph Ralphio Ralph just Ralph Breaks the Internet uh, and they say like they're posting this thing that's like my face when I break the internet and it's got Ralph and he's making a dumb face. And, it, and everyone's like, ah, what a fellow kids moment. What a fucking outdated meme they're referencing these idiots over at Disney. And it's like, dude, how long do you think it takes to make a goddamn CG movie from script to screen? Yeah, they're gonna get some dated shit. Who fucking cares? It takes a long time. A lot of work. It has to go through a lot of layers. They even had a thing at the beginning of uh, Incredibles 2 talking about how long it takes to go from script to screen. Uh, and everyone was like, ha, ah, it's Incredibles. We, we respect the time it took because it's our favorite. It's Incredibles. But when it's John C. Riley, oh god, I'm gonna die. Wow. 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 You know, it, it just, who cares? Every time something is like into advertising, if it's not just directly off of, fuck you, I want it. If it's not directly off of social media, yeah, it takes some fucking time to get there, guys. You can't be upset that it's not fresh on the TLC tip. It takes a little while, you unsufferable Reddit bastards. Like, I don't know. I don't know who I'm raging at. This is a straw manist of arguments, the strawest of man arguments, uh, because there's no one here arguing it. But I saw that post and I'm mad about it. <clears throat> yeah, so what? Uh, it was made, and then it had to go through a committee, and then it had to be uh, realized, and then they had to, you know, put it on there. And, like, there's not some guy that's like, hey, I gotta fucking check with my 11-year-old daughter to see if this is still relevant. Is this relevant? And then the kid was like, yeah, Dad, who gives a shit? Don't ever talk to me. Just give me money. And so they posted it. And then everyone's like, yo, you fucking idiots. I didn't laugh at this, so screw you. Uh, I only want things that I am going to laugh at, that are new, and up to date for me. Again, I'm not defending the ad execs at Disney, I just want people to shut the fuck up about the crisp freshness of their memes. Those things last like a quarter of an hour these days. Like, who's got time to even try to pretend to give a crap about memes? and their freshness. Ah, it's always this freaking bunghole. I like my memes like I like my dollar bills. Crisp and fresh and ooh, at least $20 worth. 
Whoa, that guy moves? Okay, that's actually, that actually scared me. I don't know, man. I just, I think caring about the freaking hot freshness of your meme is a sign of, uh, what's a brain disorder that it's okay to make fun of? <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. I can't, I cannot think of a brain disorder that I feel comfortable making fun of out loud. Um... Uh, elephantitis? That's not really a brain disorder. Uh, I still don't really feel super comfortable making fun of that one. Um, because the elephant man was like, a tragic hero. People make fun of autism, but I think it's just because autism is just anything they think of as slightly less socially aware than themselves. Is it dank enough if I make fun of autism, or is that not fresh on the memo meter? It's like I remember watching uh, watching that show At Midnight with Chris Hardwick, the guy who was accused of... <laughs> <laughs> it's not funny at all. He was accused of psychologically manipulating a previous girlfriend. Turned out it didn't happen, but he lost all of his shows and stuff because of the accusation. Uh, and uh, at midnight was like, you know, they they basically like got their shit off the internet. They got their from vines and twitches and all that other shit. That's where they were getting their. They were, that's where they were getting their juice. Uh, and I remember watching an old episode and someone in the room going like, man, that is like an unfunny old joke they're referencing there. And I was like, dude, this thing's two weeks old. It's from a clip that is two weeks old. That was new then. <sighs> you can't. Just because you've seen it, doesn't make it whack. That's crap. It's still hot as fuck. It's hot as hot fire. You're just too particular. Gross! Uh, yucca. Yucca, 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 yucca. Waka, waka. Let's just go ahead and blink here. And then... Not ready to do it. I'm not ready to get rid of it. All right, I want to get another spot of curse. Yo, there's de that's a wall fucking mimic. They're all over the place these days. I think that's two curse. We did that curse pot twice. We didn't steal anything else. Get out of here. Whoops, that's not the one I wanted to use. Give me more damage. So that's four of those. So at plus 20% damage, feels good. See, I... I hate all things that come from anywhere. Um, and I don't mean this in like, oh, I'm so edgy, I'm dark, and I'm, you know, Reaper or whatever. Uh, I mean that every time I hear someone say, feels bad, man, which I'm guessing is probably old now, uh, I'm like, shut up. Just shut up. You don't feel bad. You're just saying it because that's what people say. Uh, every time I hear someone say, like, they use a little Twitch emote, I'm like, Dude, why don't you just say the word instead of making a little face laugh? <laughs> I'm talking about you, Kyle. Wah, wah, wah. Uh, but it's because I'm a goddamn dinosaur. I don't want anybody to say things that aren't regular English words or whatever language they speak. I don't. <laughs> I'm not a xenophobe. Uh, but I don't know. I just want everyone to realize that everything is lame. If it just takes a few weeks, if it just takes a little bit of time before something becomes lame, it was lame to begin with. Yeah, Reggie Fizeme, that's not what you're actually feeling. 
That's just your dad's face. Why don't you just say, my dad's face? <laughs> oh man, Reggie's kids? World's biggest nerds. They, I'm just calling it right now. If he's impregnated a lady, she spat out some nerds. <laughs> I want you to just start saying that and not explain it to anybody. Yeah, you can't hide from me. <sighs> okay, keep on keeping on. I don't know, man. After a double, I always feel fucking strange. Ah! Woo! I'm getting some luck rolls. <laughs> You're a fucking butthole. How is this just for sale? A million pennies, right? Yeah, thought so. I... I gotta... I gotta um, call my congressman about this because it's really, it's, I think, illegal to give me, as the robot, a shrine that would increase my damage by 25%, a uh, shrine that would give me buttloads of money, uh, and no way to use either of them. Not a shrine, a lady that would give me buttloads of money. One of my coworkers who's, uh, yeah, he, I, I worked with him actually in multiple places. He just had his, uh, well, he didn't have his third kid, his uh, girlfriend, lady, wife, whatever. I don't really, I don't cry. Um, I think they're girl and boy. Um, they had a third kid, and uh, he, uh, he's a nerd. <laughs> he's a nerd just like I am. And he's got nerd kids just like Reggie fils -Bay probably has. I mean, his kids probably aren't nerds, but uh, they're too young to be nerds as of yet. But like, we're making little future nerds. I mean, I'm not, because I haven't impregnated my wife yet. But one of these days, pow. Straight up the uterus. <laughs> Spraying nerds. Uh, <laughs> just imagine the fucking nerds candy. Those things get so sticky. Probably not as sticky as the actual stuff. But. Oh, I've talked myself into to a disgusting corner where I'm grossing myself out. Yeah, you're dead. You? Are you dead? I don't know. Feels like it. Feels like you're not dead. I gotta use my heck blaster on you. Now you're dead. Oh wow. Let's just we're gonna freaking destroy this motherfucking thing, so we might as well do it now and get some lies out of it. That's a, now we're at 25%, you know, uh that shrine be damned. <laughs> straight, straight up the uterus tube. Has anybody made a uh, porn parody uterus tube? Is that good? Is that a dank meme? Man, I don't know. It's so hard to tell what's dank and what ain't. Yo, I think those bullets are stuck. Stop shooting like that. Alright, we don't need to hold on to these blanks. 
So we could probably use them instead of using the slowest fucking defensive weapon in the world. Ooh, that's what I want. Ah, What? Why didn't those ricochet? Weird. I guess it's not too terrible. This weapon sucks! Man, I don't have a, a shit for this guy. I kind of forget that hegemony rifle is only good against regular weak ass bosses and not good ass bosses like this their fuck their motherfucker. All right, let's try this maybe. Is he? Does he have like higher defense when my things out, or do I just? Does my damage just suck? Two halves of one whole ass. Yo, I can't. For some reason, I can't uh, ricochet those, and I don't get it. Oh, really? I thought dank memes were like memes that had no. That's a deep fried memes. Excuse me. Oh my god, I'm showing my ignorance. My ignorance-ness. Yo, don't hit me right at the end. I don't want that. I said, I want a bok. William Bok. Stop giving me all a damn freaking hearts. I can't even, like, push them over to her. Just a little pup, a little pup by my side. A little bit more curse. That one has two curse? Hey, stop. One curse, so I'm at three. Which is a fine number of curse for uh, a Heck Blaster run. Especially since I need to be accruing some wealth around this time. Yo, why did I do that? I know better. Yo, back off. Back off. Jack off. Yakov Smirnov. Was his name actually Smirnov? Was he... Is his family the, uh, the vodka people? Or was that just like a, like a clever Russian y sounding name in the 80s or whenever? I went to somebody's house and they had a book of Yakov Smirnoff jokes where it was like a Yakov Smirnoff book that he wrote. And I was like, dude, comedy in these days was hilarious. The jokes were like, Yo, I came from Russia into the United States, and man, did everybody have a big old ding dong. They were slopping their dicks left and right. They were putting them in my mouth, and I was like, oh, oh, oh man, it was crazy. Waka waka. <laughs> uh, okay, so we're at three curse. We could get either of the either of the uh, yellow chamber would give us two. Casey would give us two. And then we get 2.5, so it'd be 4.5 from that, that'd be 7.5. I don't really mind it. Uh... <laughs> oh. <laughs> I don't I, I don't remember actually what was in the, the Yakov Smirnoff book, but uh I remember reading it because it was like on their it was their toilet book. Uh and I do not remember thinking that it was funny. But, you know, I probably heard all those jokes on Seinfeld or wherever. There was a lot of, in Soviet Russia, curtains. Curtains open you. Iron curtains, that is. 
in those kind of jokes. jokes. Jokes of that nature and quality. Yo, that rat has me terrified. Why are you so blood red rodent? I can't these fucking things be, um... Mimics? Wait, is that a mimic? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I still really need boss weapons and I need ammo. I'm running out of ammo for my... Oh, this thing's still on. Whoops. There we go. Sorry. Basically, I could be... I could get by on a... Uh, my starter gun for this guy for quite a minute. And I should. But I'm trying to use these other crappy ones because... Uh, I don't like to just be on starter weapons. I had that as basically as a rule for very long. That where I just used the starter weapon and one other weapon forever, so that I was never at a loss. Dude, this sucks. This sucks. Even with my extra damage, this sucks. Oh man. Is like the worst actual boss for this. I mean, it's still a very straightforward boss, but that dog can actually attack him. What's going on? Why does it seem so warped? Is that a uh, an ultra wide thing? Because I've fought this boss many times recently. This is the first time it feels like warped. Maybe I'm sitting at a bad angle. Maybe it's a curved screen thing. I thought the wall was still there. Whoa, that was weird. Okay, I almost jumped into that. I'm not sure why. Alright. Using bad guns. Getting things done. Is that another? That's only one, right? It's another one curse. But what's the synergy? The red hood? The wolf dead. Huntsman, while Huntsman is held, wolves attack significantly weaken enemies? The fuck does that mean? They die quicker? Or does it like make them attack less? Let's test it out. Uh, bad room. Bad room. What you gonna do? What you gonna do? When you get all shoot. Oh, wait, the wolf has to attack them. So I need to be following him. No, 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 don't go on the... Yeah, oh my god. Okay, well, we got ourselves a thing. So they're also going to be weaker to him. Yeah, oh my lord, have mercy... That's a significant uh, enfeebling we got going on there. Yeah, well, you know, they're not the most smarticulate. Did you fucking run into me? You rat bastard. Can I? Let, let me see. You attack him, I switch weapons, he's still weakened. Cool. I just gotta be holding the Huntsman long enough for him to take a chomp. 
take a jump in the wild side, so dude. No, dude. Please tell me this guy bites bosses. Oh, we might have been handed the glove of power. No, oh, stop that. Piece of shit game ass fuck god damn it give me another key I'm at four this will put me at 8.5 right right this will put me at 6.5 which is kind of exactly when I, where I want to be yep 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 cool even though I'm not really afraid of Clap, clap. Jam bosses. Uh, I don't want to get too high too fast. Such no stoner ever. <laughs> Weed. Ah, uh, okay. I would really fucking like some ammo. Look at those weird looking guys. There we go. Oh my god. You sh I mean, you should have. Thank you. I'm glad that you have. I usually go down the side of this room before I cross. I don't really do this one from the top. So that felt pretty weird. Glad it's over. I don't like feeling slightly weird. Okay, okay. Get him. No, wrong. Still don't really have a ton of good in the way of weapons, so... Dude, you know what I would love? Is the Kill Billers. That's the boss I want the most. Huh. Maybe it doesn't apply to certain guys. Oh no, it totally does. Holy crap. Hey, dog, you gotta be stronger than that. That was pathetic. You're supposed to be weakening these dudes, not not quite weakening them, weakening them enough. It's the opposite symbol of the of the uh, mage guy. Okay, got it. It makes complete sense now. It's an antithetical kind of thing. It's a down vote. That guy's up boop. Oh fuck! I did it again? I fucking did it again. I did the thing where I got hit, then I panic dodged into a pit. God, what the hell? Myself mad. That's so stupid. That's such a stupid behavior. Like better I'm better than this. Yo, yo, god damn it! Why am I having so much trouble with this, these regular ass enemies right now? Is it because I'm trying to use this weapon more than I ought? 
Don't give me a bottom entrance to the thing. Okay. <laughs> That's the second god dang rat thing sold. Yo, what's your problem? What are you trying to do to me? You see that heck blast and you're like, just take it all, baby. It's a bottom entrance. It's the fucking, it's the guy. It's the fucking guy. I can feel it. I can feel it in the center of my bones. I can feel it. It's not the kill pillars. It's not wide enough. Fucking high priest ass. Whole, whole clown ass, dude. God, it's like not even the fucking high priest that I'm worried about. It's all of his wall shots. His wall shot and it's his time spent in vulnerable that I'm worried about. I mean, not that I always avoid his other shit, but. That was kind of risky timing there. that stuff going the other witch away. Still have the little bomber. This shit out of here. Get it out of here. Stop. Stop trying to drop it right on top of me. You see like three of those bullets try to spawn directly atop of my dome. I'm not, I'm not doing well because of uh, my skill, I'm doing well because of my items, and I am fucking okay with that. I've been doing pretty badly relying 100% on my skill recently, so let's have some item item reliance runs, shall we? These fucking wall bolts can lick my scroat hole. Dude, I love the red riding hood synergy. That's That's what we're talking about. Um, nose is running. How you doing, Roddy? You on your break? I wish I had the, uh, baby good mimic. And I had two wolves. Okay. That's, that's too much curse. I'm at 6.5, that'll put me at 9. Uh... Nope, not even for a second, sorry. It's uh, The Red Hood, I think, is the actual name of it. It gives that down... That little down vote there that uh, causes these dudes to uh, yuck. cause those dudes to take extra damage. So whichever one he bites, 
while I have the Huntsman out, gets a uh, status down. And it just gives them less HP, basically. It's like a super... Um, 5. Drop one. I need to drop two things. What curse do I have? Oh, I'm not dropping the Huntsman. Nah, we're good. We'll just do this regular style. If we lose, who cares? Yes. A oh, Ralagun. Okay. It's free. <sighs> okay. Hey, that's lovely. That is actually lovely. Yes. And... Yes. 50% for most guns. Oh, excuse me. That was fucking nasty. No. Bite him, so I can just shoot him once. Thing is, it's kind of a weirdly, like, passive thing. It makes the enemy that he's attacking die faster from his attacks. But otherwise, I end up waiting for him to take a nib. Take a little nib. And some guys, he's too freaking stupid to actually put his little teeth upon. Oh shit. Yo, what? Where the fuck did this guy come from? Come on. There we go. He's gonna attack the lead cube, isn't he? No. Oh, okay. Yeah, basically, every time I'm holding this, it gives him just a direct damage up, and it gives me a potential to damage up. But it is nice to have like a, a counter to the uh, Jammo Mancers. Or not the Jammo Mancers, the um Bustiers. Little mages. <laughs> it's alright. It's called the Red Hood, and I, I can show you how it how it do. God, it makes him so much stronger with those attacks. And it makes me potentially at least a little bit stronger some of the time. Shit on the butt. Well. More damage for me. That's a lot of junk for no junkin'. And for such a you know smooth sailing run. Smooth runnings. Like that movie, Smooth Runnings, starring Jamaica, the team of Bob's lead. Yo, it does work on mini bosses, so maybe I need to be doing this during the dragon. 
The coolest thing is that I don't have to keep it. It goes away after a little bit of time, but you do not have to uh, be persistent. Well, it is persistent, so you don't have to be. You probably are in the same boat as me. I just, I felt like crap for the last like three days. Is it like a stomach thing or a nosal mucal membranes? Because I sound uh, stuffed up as fuck, and I feel also that. Had a really busy, really good shift. Uh, I should have. I was like, use the horse, Luke. God damn it. Use the protective effect that you have, Luke. Didn't do it. I'm probably gonna say yes to Helix Bullets. I, do, I, I don't have the ability to turn them down, even though it ruins a bunch of my weapons. It's too good for a few of the other ones. If I get there. Dude, I don't know. Shotgun full of love would become shotgun full of garbage. Oh, man. Just let these guys have their time in the sun. What are you doing, pup? Get <coughs> uh, get in there. Excuse me. Dude, I sound like crap. Crap mac and cheese. Look at the millionth terrible dodge I did. Got lucky in that one didn't hurt me quite so bad. Get him. Bite him. What the fuck? <laughs> the dog likes to get up on enemies and just be like, hey, I'm potentially going to bite you. I guess he's better than the other dog, though. That dog doesn't do shit. Sometimes finds a key. Maybe. Maybe more frequently than you would naturally find it. Who knows? Probably not. I don't know. Let's go get this freaking chest. Oh, I need to come here. That guy's dead. I don't have to worry about him. That guy's dead. I don't really have to worry about him, but I did, and he's dead nonetheless. Get that ghost. Get that other ghost. Thank you. Hey, Zinga Squirrel, how you doing? Were you playing Red Dead? That's like one of the two games everyone in the fucking world is playing right now. That or Pokemon. I went the Pokemon route because I'm a goddamn eight-year-old. And also, I like playing my Switch and I... Alright, I'll see you when you get back if I'm still going strong karate. I, uh... I wish I didn't hate turning on my PlayStation. I wish I didn't hate it. Because I would love to play Red Dead. The, the, I think the problem is the graphics are so close to PC level, it's just everything that I can't do on my PC. I'll give you a good review. It's fun. Um, it feels like they got enough right Oh my god, are you fucking kidding me? I thought there was no chance in hell we would get this. But we fucking got it. A second time in like four runs. 
Uh, it's weird. The Pokemon Go integration stuff is weird, but not... It doesn't fucking ruin anything. Uh... <clears throat> so, it. I mean, I, I played it for six hours, I think, total at this point. Is he getting weakened? I can't tell. No, the dog's not doing shit, so... I guess that weapon can go fuck itself. That's both of my blanks, okay, and I didn't even land this attack. Yo, what am I doing? I'm just getting a really easy lead god. We haven't gotten a lead god in a long time. It'd be nice to get one cake style. If we can. If we can. Yeah. In the style of cake. Oh, it's like bending straight lines. It bounces off of them, though. It's a little weird. Alright, go away so I can do the shot. There we go. Fuck! That was close. <laughs> yep. I, uh... I hope I don't fuck this up, I guess is all I can say. I can see myself doing that. I fuck up this phase sometimes for no reason. Especially when I'm very near a lead god. Why are they bouncing? Oh, fuck, I gotta drop. Angry bullets. You know what? Fuck it. Anger bullets really screw that up. But that's a lead god, and we got an old king flawless, because we're playing hyper defensively. We should be able to get through the old BH pretty rapidly. Let's see, let's let's try something. Let's see how this this one do. I, <laughs> like, walked into the bullet. Yeah, it's really hard to tell because I, it doesn't change my character's color very much. And let's drop this. Oh, yeah, I'm on board. Okay, we're good. Sorry, Angry Bullets. Helix takes president. Oh, it's midnight all of a sudden. Alright, so we're probably using the Huntsman and the, uh, thing. Helix Space Bendy Bullets are going to be weird. Helix Railgun Bullets are also going to be weird. And Helix Huntsman Bullets. You guessed it. Guessed it. Weird. Oh, that's not that weird, though. I like that. I forget about my accuracy boost with this character. <coughs> Even Helix Bullets can uh, bring it down. Moses said he uh, he bought the uh, rat key for the first time, but he forgot about having to go the right path in his game. He was pretty excited talking to me about it at work. Uh, he said he got down there and just was like randomly going through rooms and then it like dawned on him after a second that uh, something was wrong and he tried to back out to look at his clues. Uh, <laughs> but it was too late. That was, that was the world's 
worstiest dodge. Alright, we're not going to worry about Huntsman. We're just going to have a uh, person rule. Not the Red Dead -y. How was Red Dead? Sneaky. I mean, I know it's like everybody's game of the year all of a sudden. Everybody at work is like upset that I won't buy it. Like you, the guy that plays video games and won't shut the fuck up about them. You, the only thing that you talk about. If we're talking about sports, you're silent as a goddamn mute. Wait, somebody brings up video games, you got something to say all of a sudden. You don't play Red Dead. Like, yeah, man, I, I'm not doing the PlayStation thing. I'm not doing the consoles. If it's not the Switch, I'm not into it. Console wise. I don't I don't know how to explain it to you. If I'm going for graphical power, I'm going on my PC. <coughs> if I'm going for freaking goddamn convenience and accessibility, I'm going on my Switch. Where does that leave the PS4? Oh, it takes a long to load up? It's got fucking updates all the goddamn time for every third game you want to play. Why do I want to play that? Oh my god. I didn't press it fast enough. <clears throat> yeah, uh, I'm not buying the PlayStation 5 or the... Uh, I mean, I haven't, I've never bought an Xbox. I bought each PlayStation... This last PlayStation, I bought... Oh Good fucking lord. Uh, I bought for Final Fantasy XV. Then it came out in a better, more complete version for the PC, which is why I'm not buying Red Dead Redemption. Uh, also, Final Fantasy XV was... not everything was cracked up for you. Persona is so far the first, like... I'm very glad I... Pretty much the only I'm very glad I bought this system... Game. Uh, I was doing PlayStation Plus for a while, and then they raised the price, and I realized I wasn't actually playing any online games. Um, and I stopped throwing them my money for no reason. Um, also, why does it cost money? I mean, the whole servers thing, Steam doesn't need to charge us for its program on top of the money they make off of the games. I don't know. It's I, I'm playing. I'm paying for the Nintendo one, so I'm kind of a hypocrite. That's twenty four dollars a year for me and Jackie and anybody else I choose to give the friends package to or family package to, up to like eight people or something. Yeah, but it's it's like it's like twenty dollars a year instead of sixty, which is just the price of a game. I get it; it's not that much, but it's still kind of a principle of the thing, kind of of the thing. I don't really hate like I'm really, really, really extremely hopeful that when I'm playing Smash Brothers on the Switch, it does not feel anywhere close to when I was playing Smash Brothers on the Wii U online. Because I will probably want my fucking money back. If that's the case. I think it's 90 bucks now. Per annum. I did one year of it, and then the price raised, and I was like, yeah, I'm out. I, I didn't play any game online the entire time. I got some free old games. I got some, I basically got the Humble Bundle. Oh, my God. I have never, I don't think, ever made it to the Lich with more than six health as the robot. 
I don't know what the fuck, like, calmifying effect bullet hell has on me for some reason. But, uh, I just, I take damage in bullet hell. Like, nobody's business. Oh, my hair itches because my allergies. I look like I got fleece. Yeah, this this synergy is so strong. Yo, for some reason, and this is not the first time I'm noticing it, uh, my shit's not actually reflecting like it's supposed to. It's just letting bullets pass through me like I'm some sort of Patrick Swayze. I didn't even use... Oh, Lord, I'm a fucking idiot. I didn't use the... The thing that I got all this extra curse for... The freaking shotgun full of love. I didn't use it once because I got the, I was using the trash cannon with a synergy. Let me charge this thing. So we'll use it now, just because. I don't actually know if it's better. Okay, that's both of my blanks. Why am I such a freaking spaz? Remember when Spaz was insult du jour? Yo, I don't think this is as strong as that trash can thing. I'm having some real trouble telling if these are, uh... reflecting. I don't think they are. Oh, I somehow made it! Oh, I'm so lucky. Okay, recycle bin. Get your punk ass back over here. Those are close. I shouldn't have used both of those blanks, like, pretty much back-to-back, -back, but here we are. Oh, this is the most cowardly... <laughs> one of my life. It's not the most cowardly win. I've won this way plenty of times. This is the most cowardly... Uh, Lich Wallace, if we get one. If we get one. Do it. No. Do the other one. You know what I want you to do. There we go. Yo! Yo! God, it's moving so weird. And we recycled our way all the way to the top. And then an all... That's an all boss flawless. Well, we got hit a bunch of times in stupid rooms. Where we weren't... Super powering ourselves. We didn't go to the rat though. We could have afforded it, but we didn't go. And that makes 68. Oh yeah, I'm gonna test out Kyle's mod. Stick around if you wanna see some weird and crazy shit. My lips look really pink. I've been mouth breathing all freaking day long. Thanks, Sneaky Squirrel. A lot of extra damage. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So plus 35% damage. Dizepam maybe gave us a little bit more accuracy. I didn't even I didn't use the rail gun on the final boss. Because the recycle bin is so much greater DPS. That's insane. That is such a good synergy. And I can't believe I got the trash cannon on like the first floor. Said, nah, there's no chance we're ever gonna. Get the star pew, and then look at it. Look, look at that starp. <laughs>